Um, I guess it's obscure enough, so let's... Because uh, the thing about the cabinet, it said there were only, only 250 of these cabinets produced, which seems awfully low. Like, if my... If my shitty little mall arcade in, in South Texas got this, how the fuck did they only make 250 of these? But I think they meant, like, the, uh... the deluxe version, I guess? Well, we had the deluxe version. Oh, yeah, they misspelled Skice. <laughs> when two tigers go to war, money's all that you can score. Score a war, score a war. So, the control scheme is very, uh, uh, it's like, a, it's like the, the Spy Hunter yoke with, uh, with buttons, uh, uh, trigger buttons to fire, and there's buttons on, or no, there's like, uh, let's zoom in on that. There's like, uh, there's three buttons in this game, I think. Or no, I think I think what it does is one button fires, one button drops bombs, and I think if you push the the uh, the panel in, you speed up. So there's uh, there's three buttons to worry about in, in Mame. So this game's uh, this game's whole thing is that you're uh, you have infinite lives, but you're on a you're on a time limit. You have to. You have to bomb the hell out of these uh, uh, these aircraft carriers, and when you die, another another plane comes into the screen. So, but depending on where you are on the screen, it t it takes like it can sometimes take more time for like your next life to to spawn in and all that. But you are on a timer, and if the uh, the aircraft carrier leaves, uh, that's like it it docks you there. And I think like if two of them. Either two or three of them leave, then it's game over. So I thought that I thought that was weird at the time that you have infinite lives because I was so used to uh, I was so used to games where it's like okay you get three lives maybe maybe ex extras like every uh, every now and then three of them. But this is a uh, a bit different. Also, this game. Uh, I don't remember it from when I played uh, when I played the arcade cabinet when I was a kid, but I was I was a dumb kid that didn't really remember. Um, apparently, the the deluxe version of this used an eight track tape in the in the inside of the cabinet. There was a a sixteen minute tape uh, playing like random random noises in the background to give you the feeling you're that you're there you're a uh, you're in the sky shooting down the the aircraft carriers and planes. Um, so they, uh, I don't, I don't know if MAME, like, natively supports it. I can't find the sample file, but, uh, Todd Tucky of TNT Amusements, uh, did rip it and put it on YouTube. Although he put it in a video introducing it and didn't split it up. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. My arcade designer. So I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to tab over to the YouTube window and play that in the background <laughs> while we do this. Damn, look at this resolution. What resolution is this? 512 by 480. Damn, that's pretty high. Dogfight top aces. We salute you. So there's like a, there's a two-player dogfight mode, I think. I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna test that. Uh, so does Chubbs. Think of a 65 months. So yeah, I probably uh, I probably should have covered this when we did the rest of the midway games, but oh, I guess I can pick dogfight. How do I pick that? Can you do a two-player game? I guess not. Prince Hordkin, Hey, think of a 300 bits. Okay, hopefully my controls are set. Let's uh. Sorry, getting the the background audio gone. Okay, we're good. <laughs> now we're getting the full experience. All right, so that's me. You can drop one bomb at a time, 
Oh god, the control is so fucked up. Oh god, this analog is bad. So you can destroy the other planes and they, they fall onto the thing. You gotta make three uh, three holes in the in the hole. There's one. Uh, almost got. Uh oh, got it. Okay, I need to like adjust my analog settings a bit. <laughs> One of those games that's like really hard to, really hard to get the right controls for. And yeah, you wrap around when you. Uh, go around the bottom, which is funky. Oop, almost got it. God, with these controls, it's really hard to, like, shoot the... shoot the planes down where you want to shoot them. Got it. Oh, sharks! Eh, 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 eh. Take that. Yeah. Also, you can't release a bomb if you're, like, too low to the, the ground. Okay. Ah! I got hit. I feel like I should be able to fire faster. But yeah, it's so weird how, like, dying really doesn't really do much. You just come in with a new life. Oops. Come on. Oh, I need one more. One more! No! Ow. So close. <gasps> Scuddy, think of the 94 months. It takes four holes now to, to sink a boat. Probably be easier if I had the actual controls, but I felt like it was easier to control in the other version. We'll look at that in a, in a second. Oops. Also, you can shoot the planes when they're falling for more points, but that's bad because you want them to to collide with the the ship. Oh, I remember what's up with the other version. Jesus, four holes? That's hard. I didn't have enough time for that. Okay, I think if one more ship escapes, it's game over. Yeah, there ain't no illusion in this game. You're on a timer. Although they don't show you the timer, that's the problem. You have a certain amount of time before the boat leaves, but you don't know how much time that is. Okay. Shit. I hear, I hear voices. I mean, I always hear voices in my head, but... Nope, oh, it's getting away! Game over. So at least you get like a... You get a decent amount of time for your credit, right? Erasing? Boo! What is this erase shit? All-time high score. And it shows how many subs you sank. That's cool. Alright, what's the... Did I pick dogfight? 
Oh, it's button three. Okay. Beat each beat other pilot by sinking his ships. Oh. Wait, that's not a dogfight. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So player two is gonna try to kill player one if I had if I had a player two do anything. And this means you can actually like you can actually kill the other guy, which is funny. Also, none of those ships actually collide with me now. Oh, it's still time. I still couldn't do that. Boat's full of holes. How the fuck is it still still alive? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And then it switches over to the other one. Okay. Cool purple subs. Joe, be real. Thank you for the raid. Oh, let me pause that. <laughs> These fucking noises. So there was also a. Uh, a conversion kit that was like specifically made for Tron cabinets. And it has it has some slightly different gameplay. That seems insane to like <laughs> convert your Tron into a two tigers. Tron wasn't out for that long, but I guess by this point it wasn't making as much money. Valley Midway giving people the uh, the tools to to fuck up their own their own cabinets. So this version doesn't have a, a speed up button, I don't think. It just has the uh, uh, shot and bomb. Um, I'm going to. Also, you don't get you don't get two player dogfighting, huh? Okay, I'm gonna leave the audio off. So I think by default you're automatically going fast, and there's a uh, there's a crosshair on the screen that shows like where anti-air gunfire is going. Is that there on the other version? Yeah, so you can't you can't speed up. Oh, those are totally some Tron noises. Feels like you might be able to fire more often. Oops. Boom. Also, another change in this version. Sometimes a uh, a dude parachutes out. Yeah, rate of fire seems higher. That's what I thought. So it kind of feels like this version is easier. But then you have to wait for the parachute to like go off the screen before your next life comes in, so it it penalizes you a little more. Look at this shit. This is eating up so much time. So verdict's out on this one. Yeah, everybody's gotta take a bath. Ah! Hurry up! No! Come on, that boat's got a lot of holes in it. Oh, there's a dude... Oh, <laughs> I killed the dude being chased by the shark! That was mean. So it definitely feels like you always want to be, like, low to the water so you, the parachute guy doesn't have to fall as far. But if you're too low, you can't drop a bomb. So I don't know. Is this better? I like the increased rate of fire, at least. 
Oh, I keep shooting the... I'm firing so fast, I'm destroying the planes as they're falling, which you don't want to do. Kaboom! And yeah, every... Every convoy, it goes up, like, how many holes you have to... You have to fire to sink a, sink a sub. So did anybody else actually see a cabinet of this? Like, I swear, they did have this at the... At the gold mine in my local mall. And I thought it was alright. Like I said, it made it made an impression on me just for the fact that it it gave you infinite lives. Alright, so a couple people have seen it. I guess it is obscure enough to to be in the stream overall. <laughs> for some reason I thought it was it was more popular than it actually is. Fuck. Hurry up! Saw it at Disneyland. We definitely went to Disneyland in the in the early '90s. I don't I don't know if I remember seeing it there, but it was probably still there. God, it takes so long to turn. Ah, I got shot. Well, I'm sure the cabinet at Disneyland was, was an original deluxe cabinet, and not the conversion. Ah! Man, you gotta wait so long. How am I supposed to make four holes in this boat when I gotta wait for the parachute man to take a bath? The time pile get covered? Time pile was a gigantic hit. No. Oh, we got, we got music. Sounds like shit. It's only in the, the left channel. Music that never gets started. I don't like the J on that font. It's very pointy. I forgot I put in two credits. Oh, it's not gonna... Okay. It actually keeps the credits in memory when you reset. That's, that's pretty wild. Well, I would say this definitely... This definitely seems like one of those games... That, uh... Very important to have the cab, the uh, the actual like control for. I remember it being being more enjoyable, like with the with the actual yoke. And it's very hard to get the uh, the control right in emulators, unfortunately. Because I think the yoke is, is it's like basically a steering wheel. But. I don't know. It's it's interesting gameplay in terms of uh, how you have a you have an objective that's not uh, um not play through stages. Oh, the dogfight mode you actually have lives in this version, or maybe that's the the two credit mode. And yeah, you've got like a you've got a versus mode. Somebody slapped that into a, a mystery game tournament. Well, I mean, that's pretty cool for 1984. Yeah, I don't know. It's... That's certainly something. That's certainly something original. Let's do a poll. 
I do wish the, uh... Whoa! Elgato, get out of here. Um... I do wish the, uh, the version with the increased rate of fire didn't also have the... the parachutes constantly flying out, because that... that really slows things down, but I guess that's to punish you for, you know, crashing. Hold on a sec. I need to unplug that. There we go. They can't have only made 250 of the deluxe model cabinets. There have to be more. I find that hard to believe. But then again, 84 is a tough year for the arcade industry, so... Who knows? Anyway. Huh. Get, get out of here. Um, 50% gave it a 2. 38% gave it a 3. Ah! No, I'm, in, I'm inclined to agree with the 3s on this one. I think it's, uh... I think it I think it delivers something interesting that's different from uh, from everything else it's, it's one you definitely need to play on cabinet though for show sure. I don't know I think it's I think it's a fairly solid three. Maybe the execution isn't perfect, but I like what it's going for. And it's got a two-player versus mode. You don't see that very often. Yeah. <laughs> I got your back, three voters. <laughs>